Hello friends, welcome to Diary Marina YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about basic terms in ship dimension. First of all, here is a simple picture about measuring some basic terms we need to know. Length between perpendicular, length on water line, length overall, aft side of rudder post or central line of rudder pendle, aft shear, aft perpendicular, forward shear, forward perpendicular, summer load line, free board, midship, bulbous bundle. In this video, we will discuss about this topic. What is it and all? So, let's move on to the video. First, port and starboard side. When we view the ship from the aft side, the left side of the ship will be known as port side and the right side will be known as starboard side. Left side, port side, right side, starboard side will be viewed from the aft of the ship. Then, length overall. Length overall means the distance between the extreme forward point of the ship to the extreme aft point of the ship means from distance from extreme forward to extreme aft of ship this is measured along the center line of ship this this measurement is important while when we are berthing maneuvering or dry docking and all then stem stem means it is the frontmost part of boat or ship it is known as stem then forward perpendicular Forward perpendicular means it is a perpendicular drawn at a point where the forward side of stem meets summer load line. It is the perpendicular drawn from point where forward side of stem meets summer load line. Here summer load line, what is summer load line means it is a water line at fully loader condition during summer. And with respect to summer load line, we have we, we made forward perpendicular and after perpendicular. And summer load, say winter load line will be there. Winter load line means water line fully loader condition during winter. Summer load line, water line at fully loader condition in summer. After perpendicular means here the perpendicular drawn at a point where after side of rudder post meets summer load line. If there is no rudder post, we will take center of rudder stock also. Here means after perpendicular means perpendicular drawn from after side of rudder stock to the sun, summer load line then length between perpendicular because means length between perpendicular means the distance between forward perpendicular and after perpendicular is known as length between perpendicular you it is helpful for the ship calculation mainly calculating the draft of ship then midship midship is the midway between forward and after perpendicular or we can say it is the center point of length between perpendicular midpoint is equal to length between perpendicular divided by 2 or center except center then breadth extreme breadth extreme is the greatest breadth of ship means measured at midpoint and we measured it transversely means breadth extreme is distance from outer surface of hull plating on the ports and starboard side okay measure from outside shell side of shell plating it is the breadth extreme then it is also helpful for berthing dry docking and maneuvering time it is very extremely important then this is the ship's front view so we can see breadth extreme like i mentioned the extreme breadth or greatest breadth from the which include the outer surface of hull plating and upper deck camber loader water line outside plating rise of floor floor keel molded depth molded draft full draft freeboard and all we will be discussing these terms also in this lay this session then breadth molded breadth molded means it is also the greatest breadth of ship but it will be measured from inner surface of the port and starboard side breadth extreme means we will measure from the outside surface of hull from the port and starboard side breadth molded means we will measure from the inner surface of the port and starboard side it will be also measured from the midpoint of the ship both in, in transverse direction then freeboard means it is a distance from water line to top of deck line it is a freeboard we will be discussing freeboard much more details about in freeboard during another video session freeboard means basically means freeboard means it is a distance from water line to top of deck line then air draft air draft means it is the height of highest point of ship from the water level to maximum at, at maximum draft it is a, at a water from 
at maximum draft to the highest of the highest point of ship this is mainly we, we consider during when we are crossing a overhead construction or bridge when we are crossing a through a river suddenly a bridge is above our ship we will be considering our air draft because the height of the highest point of ship from the water level at maximum draft then draft means it is the vertical distance from water line down to keel from the water level down to keel the draft molded means it is the draft measured from top of keel to water line draft extreme means we will be measured from the bottom of keel to water line this draft extreme is used by our master chief mates and all or port authority during underwater under keel clearance when we are crossing a muddy area we have to know that draft extreme to know that under keel clearance so we have to understand the draft extreme from the distance from the bottom of keel up to the water line the draft molder means from the vertical line from water line to top of base line or keel plate here to to the bottom of keel line to the water line and depth extreme depth extreme means it is a depth of ship measured from under side of keel to top of deck beam at the side of uppermost continuous deck means it is the distance between upper surface of weather deck plating and outer surface of keel it is the biggest distance the total depth of ship measured from under side of keel to the upper surface of weather deck plating the depth molder means depth measured from top of keel to the weather deck plating means depth molder means here we will measure the distance between under surface of water deck plating to the inner surface of bottom bottom plating depth extreme means from the upper surface of water deck plating to the outer surface of keel camber or round of beam means he will be mentioning camber means is a curvature of deck in transverse direction we can say camber or we will say round of beam camber is exposed to it is exposed to weather and all it is a exposed deck to drive water and all it is measured as a height of deck at center line above the height of deck at side you understand it will be measured at a height of deck at center line above height of deck at side because it is curvature of deck in transverse direction actually this is provided to drain liquid from deck so that during sea water and all it should be go out this give extra longitudinal strength to the ship structure and measured along midship this modern midship have deck which are flat transversely over width or hatch cover to slope down towards the side of ship so that it will give an extra longitudinal strength to the ship structure then shear shear means this is the curvature of deck in fore and aft direction means the rising rise of deck in fore and aft part of deck plating this curvature of deck in fore and aft direction this shear forward is usually twice that of shear aft this provide extra reserve buoyancy to forward and aft end of ship this also drains water from water deck and foxwell deck also shear means the curvature of deck in fore and aft direction rising from midship to maximum at the end the rise of floor rise of floor means it is the rise of bottom shell plating above horizontal base line actually this provided to drain liquid from ballast water in double bottom tank towards the center line or tank section this rise of floor is small that is 150 mm being is very usual then bilge radius bilge radius means it is the radius of arc cutting to the side of ship to the bottom at mid portion of the ship it is the radius of arc cutting the side of ship to the bottom of at the mid portion of the ship tumble hole is the means it is the inward curvature of side shell above the water line it is a inward curvature this is measured along horizontal distance between perpendicular drawn to sea streak this gives also more stability to the ship lowers the center of mass thus lowers the center of gravity this structure makes the ship more seaworthy means measure when we makes this improves the appearance of the ship this in some ship midship shell plate is in the region of upper deck is curved slightly towards the center line thus reducing the breadth of upper deck and deck above then strike strike means 
it is the external hull of ship consists of bottom shell side shell deck side shell which formed the lobular strip split strip splitting called strikes here the in the external hull of ship may bottom shell side shell deck and all, all formed due to lobular strips of plate called strikes this continue range of plate forming side of shell or metal examining the shell to form stem or stern bilge strike means it is a strike at the turn of bilge called bilge strike either the steel strike means number of adjacent strike fit at the end of ship called steel strike garboard strike means strike adjacent to keel is known as garboard strike the shear strike means it is also given an advantage means it is the largest continuous deck at the top of side of vessel on the main deck shear strike means largest continuous strike at the top of side top side of vessel on the main deck and uppermost strike of side plating which means upper deck this will be 10 to 20 percent thicker than out other side plating the important thing perspective of this means when a vessel is bending to forces from tension to compression a shear strike is subject to maximum compressive and tensile stress which contributes to the strength of hull shear strike and its importance means when vessel is bending to forces from tension and compression shear strike will be subjected to maximum compression and tensile stress which contributes the ship strength to hull okay when a vessel is bending due to forces from compression and all shear strike will be subjected to maximum compressive and tensile stress so this will contribute to the strength of the hull so this will support give a extra support to the hull the shear strike mechanism the stringer the stringer used to strengthen the sides surface of ship are called without stringer the hull shape does not form stringers means these are used to strengthen the side surface of ship these are strengthening member stringers and all shear all a strengthening member without stringer the hull shape does not form then coffin plate coffin plate is used to connect the stern frame of the flat plate keel so coffin plate is used to connect the stern frame of the flat plate keel then shoe plate means it is used to connect the stem to the flat plate keel then margin plate means it will be at the bilges the tank top may be either continuous straight out to the shell or by means of tank margin plate which is water tight at some angle of about 45 degree the tank top meets the shell almost at right angle bulwark bulwark means it is a solid wall that extends above the weather deck or any other deck to be exposed to the weather it is fitted for the safety of crew at least 1 meter in height spacing of stays and it, it is, should be not exceed 1.2 meter from the forecastle deck means bulwark is a solid wall that extends above weather deck it is usually provided it will be exposed to weather and it is actually fitted for the safety of crew it should be at least 1 meter in height space, uh, spacing of stays and is not exceeded 1.2 meter from forecastle then transcom space transcom space is it is situated in the steering gear room there you, in the steering gear room you can find a manhole door near rudder tank this purpose is to inspect the rudder tank condition lubrication etc you can enter this space for cadre inspection in port only and only in calm weather or calm uh, seas in a calm condition the condition is good transom space is situated in steering gear room there you can find manhole door near the rudder tank for the inspection of rudder tank and lubrication purpose uh, and you can enter this for cadre inspection in port and in calm weather only the buttock lane it is an equidistant transverse section lane from midship to the forward of ship such that they give you cross section at various sections at all possible draft and trip when it is a equidistant transverse section lane from midship to forward of ship such that they give cross section at various sections at possible draft and trip this buttock lane is mainly used for knowing the late weight displacement at time end of construction phase of ship mainly for knowing the late weight displacement from the construction phase of the ship then gunwale gunwale is the upper edge of ship side where shear strike meets the deck plating it is the upper edge of ship strike where shear strike will meet the deck plating margin lane means it is just a lane that will drawn at least 76 mm below upper surface of bulkhead deck side means it is lane drawn 76 mm below upper surface of bulkhead deck this lane is an imaginary lane which is drawn 76 mm below the uppermost continuous deck this indicates to which ship can be flutter or loader without sinking this margin lane is a lane it is at least 76 mm below the water line so below the upper surface it is a imaginary lane this is not 
the ship can be flooded or loaded without getting sink so if it go above the limit we can understand that for a ship to which have continuous bulkhead the margin line has to be drawn not less than 76 mm below the upper surface of bulk, bulk deck bulkhead deck etc expect that when there is a variation in thickness of bulkhead deck at the side of upper surface of deck should be taken at least thickness of the deck said at the beam that means for a ship having continuous bulkhead deck the margin line shouldn't be taken not less than it should be not less than 76 mm so it should be above 76 mm below that upper surface of bulkhead deck at say except that there means if there is a variation in thickness of bulkhead deck so surface of deck should be taken at least the thickness of deck at the side of the beam if it is desired however the upper surface of deck may be taken at a mean thickness at the side of above beam as calculated for the bore length of deck provided that thickness is no greater than the least thickness of 50 mm if everything is getting desired we can little bit reduce the thickness up to at least thickness plus 50 mm because the upper surface of deck may be taken at the mean thickness of the deck at the side of beam as calculated for the bore length of the deck provided that thickness is no greater than the least thickness of 50 plus 50 mm